now, your feature presentation. presentation. Hello, everybody. Welcome to What You Watch in the Cult Classics bonus content. Cameron Jones here with my co-host. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Jordan Jones. Sorry, I just... <laughs> I couldn't my, tell if you were waiting I, to do something cl- anticlimactic, or... Well, it was anticlimactic, but... No, I just had some phlegm in my throat. Jordan Jones here. Uh, what you been watching? For me, I've been super busy trying to final up this closing of this house shit, so it's been a lot of just, like, background noise watch things that I've seen before. Not a lot of new things for me, so anything new for you? Um... No, nothing uh, <laughs> that's in theaters, uh, but I've fine. watched new material, right? New to you, that's all so, I'm looking for. So, I'm excited for tonight to watch, I believe, the finale of season two of Only Murderers in the Building. Oh, you know, Steve Martin. it's come up a few times, and I will finish season one. It's just, we started it late in fall, we had too many things, and just never got around to finishing it. But I do want to do both seasons. I enjoy it. It's a whodunit. It's, you know, it's whimsical. It's got the right amount of everybody. I endorse the show. It may not be for everybody, but it is for me. So I think the final, the season finale is tonight, and I'll get to find out who the murderer is. And you know, for no reason in particular, I do kind of just like Selena Gomez. I didn't watch her as like a child actor on the Disney Channel. Didn't Wasn't a fan of her music career, but I think it was just that zombie movie that turned the corner for me like a, a couple of years ago. What is that one called? The Dead Don't with, Die. Uh, the Dead Don't Die. Not a good Bill movie, Murray. but for some reason I just liked her in it. Hey, is the dude that plays Elvis in that movie, Austin Butler? Mm, he might be one of the teens, yeah, in the car. I can't remember. I believe he is. Anyway, I will watch that because I started with you. And even though I can already tell, it's like, you know. Again, eh. not a good movie. I want to see how it ends. It's just one of those movies that for some reason I enjoy watching it. But I get that it's boring and I don't know. I got tons of movies like that. And it's going to sound like I'm about to suggest one of them to you, but I'm not. Okay. So... I got. I, I went to bed. I was. I was picking a go to bed movie the other night, mm-hmm. and since I got a new cable package, I don't know what's all available to me. So I ended up. I'm like, I'm gonna throw on Apollo 13, and I'm just gonna fall asleep because it's you know a, a great really movie. long, yeah. <laughs> dramatic movie. You know what I did? I finished the whole thing and stayed up to like two in the morning. I'm like, I cannot shut this off. Love the movie, and that brings me up to my suggestion. There's another movie that's like this. It's from 2015. Okay. I've suggested to you personally, Cameron. It's called Bridge of Spies. It's oh Steven yeah, Spielberg you have, directed. Yeah, it's not that old. Yeah, it's Tom a, Hanks starring. Yeah, it's from a few years ago. I did want to see it at the time too. I just for so I you know I'm looking for a good movie to get into. So like I'll I'll add that on my list. It's a Cold War espionage slash courtroom drama movie. It's fucking good. That sounds good. And a couple of the later Spielbergs, it feels like everybody's you know phoning it in. And we just it's a nice looking movie, but it's not all there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Post is an example of that. Okay. This is not that. I'm just going to say the Rotten Tomatoes so you understand. It's an audience score of 87 and a critic score of 91. So okay. it's good. So it's good. Yeah. I mean, those those numbers usually don't lie. It's got this actor I really like. I don't know him from a lot of his names. Mark Rylance. I believe he's... I don't think I know him. Irish. You would know him. He's... um. He's in Dunkirk. He's he's the guy that uh, we follow him on his private boat with his son. Okay. He's like the captain. All right. I vaguely remember. Um, he's in this. I think he's the giant in Big Fucking Giant. Oh, sorry. Big Friendly <laughs> Giant. Whatever BFG stands for. Never read the book. It. More of a movie guy. That's not true, actually. Uh, just to kind of... Um, he's in this really good movie called The Outfit. It's just a, it's just a little... Uh, it came out, I think, this year. It's called The Outfit. It's um, set in Chicago. Mm. He's like the owner of a tailor shop, but gangsters come in and out of there. And Period piece, I'm guessing, night. or is it like a modern? Period, yeah, it's set in the 50s. Set in the 50s. Oh, that's fun. Check out the outfit. But what I wanted to say is Bridge of Spies is good, and I feel like there's a handful of movies that have gotten overlooked. This is one of them. That Ford versus Ferrari movie, oh, that movie that came was out really last good, years. honestly. I was recommending that Nobody to a bunch of people, it. and yeah, just. I mean, obviously it was up for Oscars and people liked it, but like, I don't feel like Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. But nobody saw it. Yeah, true. Well, I mean, it was also like... It's a difference. That was around COVID though, right, too? And also the start of movie theaters kind of dying. Um, I'm going to look it up right now. I bet that was like four years It might have been. I know I watched it during COVID. That was like definitely my catching up on movies thing. Speaking of which, just to like quickly go through the the stuff I've already seen, but which is... 2019. So yeah, it, was pre- it was like pre-COVID. Yeah. People, people were just like, I'm sure it's good. I'll catch it. And, catch it. And I did during, during, during COVID. 
Uh, just to recap some of the background stuff I've been watching. Went back, just watched a bunch of Rick and Morty in the background. That's something I can always just kind of have a laugh to here and there. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. I've been going to just childhood classics for the background. I mean, you know, your Harry Potters, your Ghostbusters. I started Rami and Michelle's High School Reunion because I remember... Oh, I did see that showed up on some things. It's, up, it's on know. Hulu what now. I mm-hmm. I remember liking it the only time I saw it as a kid in like whatever, 97, 90, whatever it came out. So mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll see if it holds up. I, I got a few minutes in, but I was like, I'm too tired and I kind of want to pay attention. So I about, I about out of true. that. You want to give it its due diligence when you do. Uh, does it hold up? Yeah. And I, like, I, we're you, gonna you, don't, you don't want to be the reason it doesn't. Yeah, I know. Your, your mood doesn't want to be the reason. I might do that tonight, too, because I am looking for an easy watch uh, in in something that I actually kind of like on your note. I put on uh, from dusk till dawn to watch in the background. And then like 15 minutes in, I was like, shit, now I'm just watching from dusk to dawn. I'm not getting anything done. <laughs> And you know it was it was a fun watch. I haven't seen it in, in its entirety in a long time, a couple of years. Um, that is definitely a movie that because it's um, it's it's so so much of a genre movie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's it's yeah. it's kind of this campy whatever. I, I like it more as an adult now than I ever did growing up. So, well, and it, it doesn't feel as Tarantino-y as like other things too. I mean, I don't think he directed though. I think he just wrote it. Ah, that might explain it. And and acted in it. Um, I think it's actually a Robert Rodriguez movie, his friend. I will check that out. Uh, other things um, I was just watching, Rust to Riches. It's, a, it's one of those car restoration shows I talk about all the time, but this one did have a new season, so I did go through, watch a bunch of old ones, and then caught the new one, paid attention. It is a Robert Rodriguez film. Oh, nice. Good call. I believe... Yeah, that's why it doesn't feel as much like a Tarantino. Just a little that bit. That makes sense. I'm a sucker, though, for any of those car restoration shows. I know nothing about automotives. I just like seeing the end product when it's a nice, classy-looking car. I just I love it. Um, may I suggest, and I don't know if it's a TV show, but um, this guy does YouTube channels. They're called... He, he, they're called Derelict Cars, mm-hmm. and that's spelled D-E-R-E-L-I-C-T. So he essentially takes classic cars like this, right? Right. But they're all rusted out and they look shitty on the outside. And he does a wrestle mod where it's practically like driving a brand new car, but he makes the interior just still vintage. To the nines. And- it's beautiful. Like if I had a hundred thousand dollars to spend on a car, that's probably what I would do. I know for a lot of people because they drive like modern cars. And I know for a lot they of drive people with that's like all the future. That's suspension. like blasphemy of like, oh, you should just have the original parts. And but like, if I did, I would just want like an old looking boat, something cool, but like you know, something modern under the hood or even electric. I don't well, give a shit. It, it it turns out we won't want disc brakes. We want powered steering. We want air conditioning. Yeah, we want it all. You know, we want all the we want all the things that make yeah. it comfortable and like not a death trap to get in an accident. I've never driven a car without power steering. And I, I have when it's it gone much. out and it's the well, fucking worst. Well, I think worst. I have once. It's hard. <laughs> it's really hard. You better know where you're parking because you're not going to be able to fit into anywhere. Uh, on some, So I did watch new seasons of one of those restoration shows, but also I fell behind on Cobra Kai. I didn't know there was a new season out. I think it's season four, but yeah, I've talked about it before, so we don't need to go into, but it still holds up. It's still good. Even though they keep, they keep every season, like, will they, won't they kind of stuff. I mean, it's all, it's all like hinging on like old Cree stuff and will they get along, but it gets me every time. I haven't heard about the new season cause you haven't told me about it yet. So I didn't know I didn't, there was a new season. Yeah, either. me either. I didn't know it was up there. I mean, I saw some ads for it, but I thought they were just, you know, the old shit, but no, it's still good. Still like it again. I'm not so much for a Ralph Macchio fan side of the story, but, uh, uh, I forget who the Cobra Kai teacher, I forget his name right now, but he's funny. I like him. It's a good show. Check it out. If you haven't yet, Cameron, uh, you suggested that to me when it came out pretty much immediately and it just never clicked with me. So I, it's, it's almost like how you feel about, uh, only murders in the building. It's like, I get it. It's good. But well, no, not even because actually I'm it. really interested and we started it. It's just, that is a setting mood thing that I want it to be spookier time for me to get back into that. I'm, I'm just oh, you're only it. a fall. Yeah. I'm just saving that There's one. A- there is a category on my TV right now on the streaming f- movie selection just called it's almost Halloween. Check these out. <laughs> See, and that's what I've always, I bet they're always what I've been talking about. Those summertime ones. It's going to be like, I know what yeah, you did Yeah, it's a lot of slasher summer. ones. Yeah, it's yeah. teen slasher shit. That, it's a bunch of slasher That's ones. how you get warmed up for Halloween. That's what I've been saying for years. It, does, it doesn't have the aesthetic of fall yet, but you need some of that scary horror. Ooh, you know what? I'm happy. I, um, I think uh, Jessica, our sister, texted us. She saw Halloween decorations already. That's a little early, but... Uh, in, it's a little early, but I was in Menards the other day. There's Halloween decorations everywhere already. But 
In one of them, I noticed there was a trick-or-treat doll. I like that that's getting mainstream now. People understand now that that's More a mainstream. great Halloween classic, kind of. It's like cult classic reached its way in for a lot of people, I think. I Because it wasn't I a big that, release. Go back and like, listen to our cult classic. I don't really remember mm. seeing previews for it or it being in theaters at all, but I, we just caught it later and loved it. That might... I mean... I'm afraid that I'll burn that out because now I do watch that every yeah, Halloween. Same. I'm kind of ruining it a bit too. I gave it a kind of gap a little bit. Did we do it last year? Maybe I didn't give it a gap. <laughs> no, we did it a couple of years ago. So maybe you did give it a gap. But if you've not seen it, you're new to the game, go out and watch Trick or Treat for Halloween. It's perfect. I'll tell you what. It's I have perfect. killed Monster House a little bit because that one, like, yeah. that's one I'll do like an early lead in too, kind of like that's a September fall movie sometimes for me too. See, you and I are different because I have movies that I like to watch in autumn, like early September mm -hmm. slash October. Goodwill Hunting is a great one for that for me. See, I don't I even get a little know bit of that, that vibe set. too. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. I, I do Dead some Poet that. Society, just pretty much all of uh, Robin Williams' dramatic work. I know this one's going to seem weird, but I also watch Good Morning Vietnam. It's just got that fall. Feel. I mean, if you're starting Robin Williams, that's you're just not finishing true. Robin no, Williams. That <laughs> seems like that's what you're doing. School ties, if you will. School school time dramas. Still guess, never seen it. Like... It gets talked about all the time in the family that I know the plot, so it feels like I have, but never seen it. It's, it's, gr it's great. It's, that's what it's I've heard over the years. Yeah. Oh, speaking uh, of which, I just per well, another background thing. I put Blast, Blast from the Past on in the background because I've seen it so many times recently. It was right after <laughs> I did From Dust Till Dawn. I was like, I need to pay attention. And we've done, I've watched Blast from the Past like five times this year. So I was like, I can zone out to this. So I question you this. Let me know the next time you watch Bedazzled, because I bet that one doesn't. About hold. a month and a half ago, I still yeah, it's still fine. It's still good. Well, still there's, good. There's some like uh, things that have aged a little now, but like worse because I think they uh, mostly deal with sexuality. <laughs> but it's still fun. It's still fun. Yeah, I still like it. Okay, maybe I'll go back and check it out. Yeah, I'll give you a real um, question. Try much... to go back and watch. Uh, oh, what's the animated one with Brendan Fraser? Shit. Um, cool world. No, 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 no. With monkey bone. Yep. Try to go back and see if we can, you can enjoy bone. monkey bone. I don't know if I did in the first I don't think place, anybody but... enjoyed it the first yeah, that's time. The problem, so yeah. there's a pre and there's a post whenever, whenever Brandon Fraser became like mummy leading man, we're all in on all that. But I think pre that kind of sucked. I, I wasn't a big fan of like Encino man for his performance movies like that. I just watched Encino Man not too long ago, but for some reason I'm blanking on most of it. I kind of did have like a little- I think they just find a frozen caveman and that's him. And he lives in the modern world. It might have Polly Shore, I can't remember. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a second, but you know, Brendan Fraser coming back everybody. We've been on that train for a while, so welcome aboard to toot, toot, the Brendan Fraser train. I just want to say the Cult Classics podcast was ahead of the game on two things. We've from the get been pro Keanu Reeves. True. Even before the John Wick resurgence, we've been doing it from the get. We've been pro Brendan Fraser, and until he gives us a reason and gets canceled, we've been pro Nicolas Cage, you know? That's true. So when his resurgence and it happens, that it movie happens, with the, we're three for three. He had a meta movie come out recently that was kind of like, I know what I am and I'm leaning in, the history of swear words. He's leaned See? in recently. Uh, we do apologize for being Andy Dick supporters. I don't think he's going to make it on the other side, but hopefully he doesn't die. Yeah, yet. Uh, at least we can maybe hope for that. Also, <laughs> or like, I will say Colt Classics, Colt Classics is here for the Shia LaBeouf resurgence. I'm not exactly sure if he's done what he's done or if he has done anything or if we should hate him. But he's been fucked up in the head and hopefully he can come around because, you know, he's... You can, you can see the crazy... He's at least from a theatrical standpoint, it seems like, on the rebound. I don't know from a public persona uh, no nah, he had that movie where he got all those tattoos and it was like everyone was like this is appropriation and i think he hasn't really done much since then he had hits up to there and like honeybee or that that one he made about his dad or honey wasn't that honey just Boy. like three years ago though that wasn't that long ago no but then that other movie came out right around covid and i don't th like what's he had since then like big i don't know man like that was it he got he made that own movie covered himself in tattoos and i don't think he's really done much since that you can't make a million movies a year. He's, he's been acting since he's 10. I, I'm, not, I'm not hating on it. Personally. I'm just saying I think like I think we are still waiting on that resurgence. Jordan. And you can go back, check the tapes. This was a couple of years ago. I told people, hey, get ready for when we're all on Johnny Depp's train again because we're going to love his when he gets to be a good actor again. It hasn't quite happened yet, but in a random like change of events, that, Andrew, the, that Amber Heard in his trial 
allowed us all to be like, I guess they're just both crazy and we're okay with Johnny Depp again. <laughs> so looking forward to whatever he does next. That's fun. Should we should we get ahead of the Will Smith or is he coming back? He's done. Mm, that's I don't know about that one. I don't. No, we can't. That one was just that was too public, too weird, too crazy. Yeah. I don't think he'll ever be Will Smith again, but I mean, he might make something good again. He'll definitely Maybe. make something good again, I think. Yeah. Will he? I don't know. Maybe it'll be a rap album. Maybe he'll get back to Wicka Wicka Wild Wild West type of stuff, you know, a little more of that 90s feel. Yeah, but now that we've seen him slap uh, yeah. Chris Rock, he's got to be more aggressive with his lyrics because <laughs> we know there's anger in there. You can't just be like, I'm a family man and I like to slap, is what you like to do. <laughs> you don't like to rap. Um, okay, that's all I got. Yeah, that's pretty much all I watched this week. It was a pretty busy week, so it was a lot of background fodder for me. So, you know, I'm going to try to watch some new things, though. I have some new recommendations for next week. But uh, check out the new season of uh, Cobra Kai if you haven't. It's good. Because um, I am on Baby Watch, I'm considering seeing that Bodies, Bodies, Bodies movie. Bodies, bodies, it's got, like, bodies. Pete Davidson in oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, and yeah, I guess I did watch a new movie called The Incantation. It was it was a foreign film. It kind of reminded me of The Ring or an Omen, possessed childy thing, have so long before something happens. It was fine, but, you know, check. I think it's on Netflix. Check out The Incantation. I know we've been trying to go, but also I'm going to throw Rush in there. Ron Howard's Rush. Nobody saw it. It's pretty it was good. It's also a good movie. All, as forgettable as just good movie. As forgettable as Ford versus Ferrari for some reason. The car movies just kind of disappear. Everyone's like, "That was good." Then pew, they're gone. That was fine. That was a fine movie. That was well done by a great director. <laughs> like good movies. Just go go. If you if you can't if you if you can't turn it off, it must be okay. That's true. Well, thanks for checking out okay, the bonus uh, content here at Cold Classic. Still haven't watched. Uh, oh my god. Um, <laughs> Still haven't watched Finding Neverland, but I'll let you know next week if I Sounds do. like you're getting you're looking for go to bed movies, so keep us keep us tuned. Yeah. Thanks for checking out Cult Classics right. bonus content. If you like what you heard, make sure you like and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. It would really help. Make sure you rate and review. That helps us get up in the ratings. Uh, also make sure you hit up all the other good content out there from the Majestic Jam Network, Urban Hermit Podcast, I'm Not Crazy, and we'll check you on the next one. Bye.